Yeah, I'm back. Same day, same clothes. I love this t-shirt. Joe Cool. Um, and I figured, you know what, I might as well record the second video, upload it, whatever, because I really have to get back to work. Okay. <clears throat> my, my goals for 2022. So 2022 is going to be a depth year and a, a no-buy year. And I'm going to define both. Um, now there's an article from way back when, when we all started talking about depth year and we all jumped on the bandwagon. One of the best bandwagons I've ever jumped on, to be honest. But anyway. And I'm not going to link it below because I'm not going to go looking for it. You know what I mean? Just Google depth year. It's not, it's not new anymore. Everybody's talking about it. Um, to find out what it is, I'll, what I'll do is I'll summarize it for you. It's, um, instead of exploring what's out there, it's to, um, pick specific, um, things and explore them deeper, go further. For me, it's hunkering down. Okay. It's not bringing new things in, in terms of objects. It's using what I have and releasing what doesn't work. All right. So my goals for 2022. The first one is I'm going to start. I'm going to start off with the, what I what I left off in my last video. Self care. Self care is a load of shit. I hate that fucking phrase. And uh, the second I see self care, I already know it comes from a place of it's trying. Someone's trying to sell me something. Okay. Self-care has been bastardized from uh, caring of the self uh, into marketing ploy, all right? How, many, how much shit is sold to you every day? Books, um, you name it, in the guise of self-care, body care. Um, cosmetics, makeup, it's all fragrance, all the luxury items that you're bombarded with daily, where the marketing says you deserve it. This is self care. You know what self care? You know what really is self care? Not spending money you don't have on shit you don't need. That's self care. Because, you know, what it does by not spending money on shit you don't need. You save your money and you save your sanity and your and you save yourself the anxiety of how the fuck am I going to pay my rent this this month? You know what I mean? It's like you buy yourself a lot of peace of mind and that is self-care when you're not worried about your finances. And oh my gosh, I know there's a ton of you out there that hate it when I bring up finances. You hate it when I bring up. I know because I've seen your comments. You hate it when I bring up what a debt costs. You hate it when I bring up price and all this stuff. Ah, sorry. This is, I'm going to talk about it. All right. So self-care is out of my vocabulary. It's out of my vocabulary because it's tainted by bullshit. It's tainted by lies. It's tainted by manipulation. It's taint, tainted, tainted, tainted. It's garbage. So I'm, I have enough. So what I'm going to do is that, it's out of my vocabulary, but the practice of taking care of myself is what I'm taking into 2022. How am I going to take care of myself? I deck overwhelm is detrimental to me. I'm not buying any decks. I'm not buying anything in 2022. Nothing new comes into my house in 2022. And we're going to, you know what? We're going to revisit, like I did in 2019 with the other kind of depth year I did. We're going to revisit it in, uh, I'm going to revisit it in my videos and stuff like that. So don't worry. There's going to, you know, there will be, I, I will revisit it your, all year long. So if you're coming along for this ride, for the no buy, no buy. Um, I'm also not going to binge shop the next two days or like I haven't been shopped this last week because I'm afraid I'm going to miss out on something because I'm going into a no buy year. I've done a no buy year before. No, I've done a low buy year before. This is my first no buy year. And, um, it's very simple. If I don't need it, 
I don't buy it. And what determines a need versus a want is very simple. You have one pair of shoes and they get busted, you need to replace those shoes. You need them. You have one pair of shoes that get busted, but you have five other pairs of shoes in your closet that you haven't worn yet. You don't need to buy a new pair of shoes. That's how I that's that's how I um, define it for myself. Sorry, that's my dishwasher in the background. Cinema verite, people. You know, real life shit goes on here. All right. It's not a studio. Um, I distracted myself. So no buy year, nothing. No new books, no decks, no no makeup, which already is not an issue for me because uh, I cured myself of that in 2019. Um, I have tons of makeup. I should use the makeup I have. But anyway, so no buy. No buy 2022, no buy. No buy. Again, probably you're probably sitting up, you're sitting there going, well, what does that mean? Okay, toothpaste. I run out of toothpaste, there's no more toothpaste in the house, I gotta go out and buy toothpaste. That doesn't constitute, that has nothing to do with no buy. No buy is stop bringing shit into my house um, for retail therapy, for, oh, because I might wanna read this. If I wanna read a book, I could borrow it from the library. Um, honestly, if I wanna read a book, I have lots of books on my shelves that I purchased in 2020 that I haven't read yet. So, and if I don't want to read them in 2022, then they have to move on. So it's a no buy and release kind of, it's a no buy and let go kind of year, 2022. And I had a release, release has been my year, my word of the year for a long time. And it seems like that theme is going to, is still, release is still following me into 2022. So why fight it? There we go. Release. <sighs> release. My other goal for 2022 is taking care of myself. Taking care of myself means um, doing the things that um, promote health in, you know, that, that are, that promote health in my mind, body, and spirit. So I need time. It's time is the one thing that I don't have. Why? Because I'm, I'm frittering my time that I do have on shit that I, that really doesn't, doesn't serve me, doesn't, doesn't, um, nourish me. So I got to release all that stuff. A lot of it is like, you know, I, I, to be honest, if I could, I would freaking torch my social media. I can't torch my social media because I live far away from friends and family and that's the only way we keep in touch. So, but I'm barely there. Like Facebook, I check in once a week and Instagram is, you know, a little more frequently, but I'm not following too many things because I can't, I can't with my news, my, my feed on my Instagram is already full of ads and shit that I don't want to see. Um, and I just follow some people, um, because I was already following them, but I haven't added anybody to my Instagram. You're all welcome to follow me. I'm telling you right now, it's not, it's not special. It's just me. Sometimes I share, like I said in my re previous video, sometimes I share something I cooked. Sometimes I share something I ate. <laughs> sometimes I share a meme. Sometimes I share a picture I took. Sometimes I share the weather, the moon phase. You know. What else am I taking with me into 2022? The goals I've set for myself. So the no bias to control spending. The no buy is also to control the time I spend shopping for shit online. So it's not, so it, like, you know, it's going to have a multi-prong effect, uh, saving money. Uh, I'm also going to keep tabs. I'm going to keep a list of every shit that pops in my head that I want to go out and purchase, whether it's online or, you know, in a brick and mortar store, I'm going to write it down with the cost. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to review it at the end of the year, how much money I, I saved, not buying all this shit. Every time it popped in my head, it's going to go in a book. 
or on the list. Um, things are going to go on a wish list. So, you know, when birthday or whatever rolls around, someone who loves me wants to buy me a gift. I'll have a wish list of stuff that I'm not buying for myself. But I'll tell you what happened to me in 2019. I kept that list, that wish list. And after writing it down on the wish list, when I revisited it, let's say on an anniversary or birthday or whatever, I didn't want anything on that list. It's, it's magic, people. Keep a list. Don't buy stuff. But keep a list of the stuff you think you want. Also, there's another kind of magic that occurs when you write it down on a list. It kind of, you kind of manifest it. Either because you put it down on the list, the intention is set, I want to get this thing, someone gives it to you. Or you find it. Or, you know what I mean, whatever. No buy. I'm going to stick to that and we'll talk about it as the year goes on. Making more time for myself. By not, by not, like I already mentioned, I'm repeating myself. Oh my God. I didn't take, I didn't even take any cold medicine yet. Um, I'm going to gain back all that time I spend frittering it on the fucking internet looking for something to buy. I literally do that, people. Okay? When I'm stressed, or if I had a bad week, a bad day, whatever, whatever my excuse is, I will spend hours on the internet looking for something to buy. That's fucked up. I'm not doing that. that or I'm, I'm really like, that, that's one of my goals for 2022 is not to do that. And to prioritize things that keep me healthy in mind, body, and spirit. All right. I think I covered everything for what my goals are set out. Um, I want to talk about stuff like tarot and witchy stuff and whatever. I've canceled my subscription box. So uh, the only subscription box I would recommend wholeheartedly is Witch Casket. I've unsubscribed because I live in Canada and for instance, I just received my November box. Thank goodness they're not like cheesy and um, they're not cheesy with their themes. So a November box received in December is, is still is still great. But I really, I've been doing this for a long time. I got a house full of stuff. I really don't need more stuff. And, um, but it's the only subscription box that I would recommend. I will tell you that I tried Witch's Roots once this summer. It was a box of garbage. I've thrown out better stuff than what I received in that Witch's Roots box in, it was either July or August garbage absolute garbage it's like dollar store shit in that box it's like for 35 dollars us plus shipping it was pretty hit or miss mine was a big miss it cured me of witch's roots so that one i'm never gonna i'm not gonna subscribe to but i also cancel all my subscriptions anyway all except for audible because i've had audible for years and um i consume a lot of audiobooks which is why am i buying Physical copies. Ah, because sometimes I like the physical copies. Like this year with Rebel Witch by Kellyanne Maddox. Yeah, it's like I got the audiobook because of my Audible subscription. And I'm driving, I'm listening to her narrator book. And I'm thinking, oh, fuck, I just want the book. <laughs> so I ended up buying the hard copy. I'm not the target audience. But I highly recommend it um, for people that are just starting out or it never even occurred to them that, you know, just be your own kind of, do your own kind of witchy stuff. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. So, yeah. So subscriptions I canceled. Um, I, I gave you my honest review of Witch's Roots. Sorry, people. If you love Witch's Roots, good for you. But, you know, it's not designed, it's, it's, it's not for me. Uh, like I said, I've thrown out better stuff than I received in that box, and I was, like, pretty irritated. And that was, I think, they either the uh, July or August box. And um, I do recommend Witch Casket. I just don't need all that stuff. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm letting go of 
expenses that are not necessities. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's all I have to say um, for now. Oh, tarot and oracle decks. I put, you know, let, let's I'll close up with that because, you know, that's a thing, right? For a depth year. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not planning to buy any decks this year, 2022. at all but for me this depth year this no buyer is not about deprivation it's about sanity right so um it's not like i'm doing this kind of like crazy deprivation thing as you know um as an exercise it's not an exercise in deprivation it's an exercise in sanity if i were the only deck i would really want at this point in time is um is a vintage toth with the uh, blue borders what is it it's marketed as the 1969 but it was really released in 1970 or something like that samuel weiser with the nice pale blue borders that goes for outrageously stupid money it doesn't go for it's listed for outrageously stupid money on auction sites i have a, i have uh an idea in my mind how much i would want to pay for it if if I have an opportunity, that's the only one I really want because clearly Toth has become my number one um, deck that I'm using. And seriously, I ended up putting, um, I have a box of Purgatory. And Purgatory basically are decks that I've had for a long time. Or, you know, I hang on to, I don't really read with them anymore. I don't know what to do with them. I don't want to give them away. They, they live in purgatory. They live in limbo. And then I have a box of decks that I'm going to be releasing. I'm going to be, I'm going to be letting them go at the end of 2022. I decided to take my friend's advice not to get rid of any decks in 2022. Just keep them in a box and make that decision at the end of 2022, whether they stay or they go. That does, that, that's a really sane thing to do, people. They're in a shoebox, in a large shoebox. They're not bothering me. There's a lid on them. I don't know what's going, you know. I don't see them every day. That's all that matters. But that's, that's what I'm doing with, um, and my depth year no, is 13 months. Because I, I'm the person I know myself. If I start, because I've already started last weekend, I started my depth year. It has to go past December 2022, or else I'm going to fucking use December 2022 Christmas, Yule, and the whole holiday as an excuse to buy, to buy all the shit that I didn't buy all year long. This is me being very judgy of my future self. But you know what? I don't trust my future self. Because I know my present self. And I almost... I almost fell into the um, hoarding stuff. Not hoarding, but like, you know, uh, shopping leading up to depth year. God forbid I should miss out on something. Well, fuck, if I run out of toothpaste, I'm going to go buy toothpaste. That's not a problem. If I run out of body lotion, which, ha, that's a joke because there's no way I'm going to run out of body lotion because... I have dry skin people and I'm constantly picking up body lotion and bringing it home. Um, but if I do, then I'm going to purchase that kind of stuff. Um, but no home decor, no candles until I've burned the last one. I have plenty of spell candles. I have plenty of tea lights. I got tons of wax. People, I got a drawer full. Um, because I, every time I go thrift shopping, I pick up a brand new candle that I find for a buck or whatever. That's, you know, something fancy that would cost 10 bucks or 15 bucks. I end up getting it for a buck or two and I bring it home. I'm rambling now. What I'm trying to say is I'm doing this video more for me than for anybody else. It's going to be a no-buy year. It's going to be a depth year. Um, I haven't quite um, flushed it out yet, but I will be... 
I will be writing my goals in my journal that I started. I started this journal in 2019. The year of that year, the word of that year was reflection. This is from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. I just pulled it at random. Um, this is uh, this is my journal, people. Uh, I've shared with it before. It's not pretty. There's a lot of uh, tissue paper in it because I just love that texture. And um, yeah, so I'll be fleshing out what my plans are for 2022. Um, I'm most likely going to be sharing that as as I flesh it out. I'm going to be sharing it here on my channel. Um, what I learn in the process. Um, I'm still going to be talking about tarot and oracle and, and, and folk magic and all that stuff. That stuff's going to come. Um, it's still going to be a focus of my channel because that's what I like to talk about. That's my hobby. That's my special interest. Um, but at the same time, I'm going to share a little bit what I learn about myself in, in this process. Also, um, there's some hashtags that I've been wanting to do. Um, I think uh, Deck Deal Breakers is one that I want to do. I uh, had tons of fun with the Seven Deadly Sins decks. Um, hashtag. And there's another one. There's Deal Breakers and then there's another one that I want to do. Um, maybe even one of those... Um, if I could... If, if I could... Um, find two decks that I want to do uh, Mixtress Ray. She does um, unfair comparisons between two decks. Uh, I might do an unfair comparisons uh, video. But for now, that's it for me. Oh, and of course, because I have decks in Purgatory and decks that I will be letting go uh, in 2022, um, the year will be smattered with uh, honest reviews, good, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever. Um, no one's going to bully me into having to give fake positive reviews. And, you know, it's just the way it is. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you are planning to do a depth year or a, a no buy, a low buy, um, share share in the comments below i'd be interested to hear what um the rest of you are up to oh and here's a deck i forgot sorry i'm like easily distracted by shiny things a deck that i uh, got this year that this is not even it never mind it's a little it's a little toth they sell it on amazon it's called retro toth and i'm sure it's some kind of pirated shit with the ankh on the back and everything i freaking love that little deck that's my purse deck and i thought it was in here but it's not focus grace all right so um if you're planning to do a depth year if you're planning to do a no buy year if you're planning to um focus uh, on a particular um, special interest for 2022. Um, if, if you learn something for, about yourself from 2021 that you want to share, please, in the comments down below. I'd love to read about it. I love interacting with you in the comments section. Granted, I've been like really bad at commenting back, but know that I read everybody's comments. And... Um, Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, carve some more time to um, properly respond in the comments section. Anyway, that's it for me for today. For right now, i got to get back to work. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And wherever you are in the world, I'm wishing you a beautiful day. And um, I think I'll be back with a video um, tomorrow on the 31st. I'll do my best. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon.